actually very, very difficult to get funded for cancer-related research. Um, so an uh, organization uh, like American Cancer Society plays a critical important role in terms of bringing the much needed research money uh, to you know, um, fund it this whole field of cancer research. The research that's being done today is imperative in finishing the fight against cancer. It's not only important for people who are dealing with a cancer diagnosis today, but it's also incredibly important for future generations. Without funding, this would definitely be impossible. There is no way that we could carry out this line of research. We rely on a, a state-of-the-art facility with state-of-the-art equipment to be able to, to make our devices. It takes a lot of resources. So we're, we're definitely grateful for the, uh, the funding opportunities that we have. Hey Ramda, what's going on? So I have a, a patient sample. Dr. Zhang is uh, an incredibly energetic, amazing researcher. He's very young in his career, but is absolutely brilliant and is so excited about being an American Cancer Society funded researcher. So the main theme of my research uh, we are using micro and nanotechnology to make devices mainly for biomedical applications. Over 90% of the cancer patients died because of metastasis. Um, so the, the technology we developed is actually trying to enrich those circulating tumor cells within the bloodstream so that we can do a better diagnosis, uh, prognosis, and treatment monitoring. So each patient will be treated based on uh, the biology uh, of their tumor cells instead of uh, a very generalized procedure. Everyone's cancer is different, and uh, what we hope to achieve is to be able to collect cells from a simple blood test that will allow us to diagnose a particular patient, each patient's particular cancer, and then to, to diagnose it in certain ways and to test these cells to allow us to develop the best therapy that, that can be targeted to each particular patient. After we capture a tumor cell on the device, there are multiple things we can do. We can identify and uh, confirm this is a tumor cell. It's also possible we can stain these cells with other markers so we can know more properties of this cell. The researchers that are being currently funded through the dollars raised through Coaches Versus Cancer of Penn State not only help that local researcher, but they also help fund the PhD students as well as the graduate students that are assisting in the research. So the, the dollars really are truly far-reaching. I came to graduate school because I really wanted to apply engineering techniques to uh, biomedical problems to, to help medicine in some way. So I'm really grateful to Dr. Zhang. Uh, he, he provided the opportunity uh, where I've been training in microfabrication techniques and also uh, clinical analysis. It's, it's definitely worth it in the end to know that, um, that I could positively impact someone's life. The funds that are being raised right here through Coaches Versus Cancer of Penn State are coming back to Penn State University through millions of dollars in research projects, many of them going on right here today like research that um, Dr. Zhang is doing. Over the past 70 years, the American Cancer Society has had an incredible partnership with Penn State University through granting over $20 million in research projects. I hope one day something like this can be really used for patients. To, we will be able to help them and uh, you know, uh, eventually kill the, this uh, uh, terrible disease. Cancer is an unconventional disease, so we, we definitely need new unconventional approaches. It's also a constantly evolving disease, so we need a feasible way to be able to constantly keep up with it, to keep ahead of the cancer. Um, and by using simple blood tests with our micro devices, that's the goal, that's what we hope to achieve.